Huff, Silver, and Black had lost another tough one. Following a loss to the Jets in bitter cold New York, the embattled Raiders go into Boston where their fortunes start to change. Here's offensive backfield coach Johnny Roush, a former great All-American quarterback at Georgia and a professional player of renown. Patriot quarterback Babe Pirelli gets nailed here by linebackers Clancy Osborne of Arizona State, rookie John Williamson of Louisiana Tech. And in another defensive play, middle linebacker Archie Matzis picks off a Pirelli throw intended for Art Graham. On the attack now, Clem Daniels takes a swing pass from Cotton Davidson, and as we switch to slow motion, with the help of Bob Mishak of Army, Wayne Hawkins, and Billy Cannon, puts the Raiders into a 10-7 lead. Here again now is young John Williamson stopping Larry Guerin for a loss on a key fourth and one situation. That defensive play sets up this 49-yard touchdown bomb from Davidson to Roberson, making it 17-7 Oakland. Here, Art Powell scores a Davidson pass, crashing into the retaining wall, out of the end zone, but holding on to the football. Later in the game now, Billy Cannon, with fine blocking by Yusof, Mishak, and Jan Barrett, rips 34 yards into the end zone. Watch this next play, an impromptu razzle-dazzle, two-lateral thriller, covering 58 yards and setting up a Patriot TD. Starts with Pirelli tossing to Jim Colclaw, who laterals to Gino Capaletti, who in turn laterals to Ron Burton, who's finally tackled by Hoot Gibson and young Billy Budness, the linebacker from Boston University. Then with 10 seconds left and with the score 43-40 in Boston's favor, Mike Mercer comes through with a perfect 38-yard field goal to give Oakland the 43-43 tie. Heartened by the tie with Boston, the Raiders...